Welcome everybody. In this lesson, we will see the face deformation. Now, firstly, we are typing this on Google and entering this website. If you are using Blender or a different 3D design software, you can do this there too. But for the ones who never use the software, I will describe its basic process here. When it first opens, it gives us a surface like this. We can play with it as we want. That's the feature of this software, that we have some tools. For example, when I choose the brush tool, I can brush the object as I want. We can rotate the screen by right-clicking to mouse. It's a tool like that, this website. I will click on clear scene from this tab. After that, I click on files and choose that object exact route. We have downloaded a face assets file from sparkf.facebook.com slash learn. This file, we open the mesh from this file. I'll show you like this. After entering the face assets, we open the mesh. After this, it's face mesh this time. We use this one on head occluder. This time we are opening face mesh object here. It brings us this face model. Now we have different tools here. We can make a lot of things like we have inflate, twist, smooth, flatten, pinch tools. Now I will try it with brush. Brushing tool. I deformed it like this. Because of this symmetry button here, it's making the same process on both sides automatically. For example, the inflate button is doing something like that. I redo it with Ctrl Z. Let's see, we have a twist tool. It's making a twist move like this. I redo it again. Like we have a pinch tool. Let's see what it's doing. I can't see properly, but that's for some small corrections, I think. Ooh, yeah, just like that. Let's redo it too. Anyway, it's basically like this. I deformed my model with brush tool. Now I'm saving it as an object to my computer. That object. Now I'm coming back to Spark AI. After opening the Spark AI, I need to add a face mesh here. After adding the face mesh, we have a deformation tool here. This tool is what we did like this. When I click here, it asks me to open a file. I'm importing my object I just saved. Now the shape I just did is on my model's face now. Just like that, you can do any shapes for the face deformation, but, but we have something to be careful about. Facebook is not letting you to share the things encouraging people to plastic surgery because it might come to a dangerous point. Like people could want to change their faces, noses. That's why it's not letting us sharing those effects like this. But you can use them on other external projects, but it's not something too useful on Facebook. That's how face deformation is.